welcome. Tonight uh, we are holding the ballot drawing here for the Enfield elections coming up in November. We'll be doing the ballot lottery drawing for the councilman at large, the board of education, and the constables. Well, I'd like to introduce some people who are with me tonight. Kelly Woward, a deputy registrar from the Republican Party. Tom Stelgaitis, the deputy registrar from the Democratic Party. Deb Camp, our administrative assistant, and the town clerk, Suzanne Olnicki. And myself, I'm Lou Fiore, the Democratic Registrar of Voters. Basically, by law, we have to pull, pull, pull the names for the order that they are for those positions that I already mentioned. The head of the ticket will be each district council person, and after that will be the at-large, and then the board of ed, and then the constables. Nothing has changed from a voting standpoint. All four voting places remain the same. District 1 will be JFK, and that's predominantly for the South Road area in the town of Enfield. Uh, uh, Thompsonville area will still be voting in Enfield Street School for this coming election. The one change there is that for those of you who have voted in Enfield Street School before, we will be back in the traditional front room of that building. We will not be in the gym in the back. The Hazardville District in the presidential area in Green Manorville will be voting at Fermi. And District 4, that's everything north of Elm Street out to the mass border predominantly, will still be voting at Henry Barnard in the new gym on the side. And that's basically it for voting changes this year, if any at all. So without further ado, we're going to be picking the council at large for the Republican Party, and Stom, Tom Stelgaitis will be picking uh, those names. The first person on the ballot will be Carol Hall. Second name on the ballot will be Scott Copen. Third name will be Greg Stokes. Fourth name would be Donna Suzak. The Republican line will be Carol Hall, Scott Copen, Greg Stokes, and Donna Suzak. This way, Tom, please. Yep. I think that's in alphabetical order, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> that doesn't happen too often, everyone. And after we do rearrange our board here, we'll be going on to the Democrat at large line. And those will be chosen by Kelly Wauer. First name up will be Virginia Higley. Second name up will be Kathleen Sarno. Third name up, Gina Sakala. And the fourth name, Tom Arnone. We're going to be, because our board's ordered this way, we're going to be picking the constables next. We're going to be doing the Republican constables, and Tom Stogaitis will be picking those names. Kevin, Kevin Feely. Brian, Brian Delano. Cindy 
Cindy Anderson. And Robert Chagon. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Next up will be the Democratic candidates for constable, picked by Kelly Waller. Name up. Michael Daly. Timothy Norris will be the second name. Teddy Plamondon. Richard Zaksinski. So the order of the consuls will be for Republicans. Oh, and the last one, Charles Ladd. Wait, we have one extra. It's all on the list. There's no daily. For the Democrats, it's Timothy Norris, Theodore Plamondon, Richard Zasinski, and Charles Ladd. Sorry, we had a little confusion. There was a mistake with Mr. Daly. So it's Timothy Norris, Teddy Pomondin, Richard Zasinski, and Charles Ladd for the Democrats. It's Kevin Feely, Brian Delano, Cindy Anderson, and Robert Chagon for the Republicans for Constable. Now we're going to move on to the Board of Education candidates. Will you be picking the Republicans first? And that'll be picked by Tom Stogaitis. First one up is Walter Cruzel. I pronounce that okay? <coughs> Second name, Tom Serard. Third name, Mike Ludwig. Fourth up, Ray Peabody. And the last one, Lori Ungary. Ungar, apologize. Democrats be next, picked by Kelly Wauer. First one up, Stacy Thurston. Second up, Elizabeth Windsor Post.
Third up, Tina LeBlanc. Where's the, uh, where's the fifth candidate? Vincent Grady. Last but not least, Timothy Neville will be the last name. So for the Republican line will be Walter Cruzel, Tom Serrard, Mike Ludwig, Ray Peabody, and Lori Ungar. For the Democrats, it would be Stacey Thurston, Elizabeth Windsor Post, Tina LeBlanc, Vincent Grady, and Timothy Neville. And that basically concludes our activities tonight. Those will be how the ballots will be distributed, and that's how the voting machines will be, will be set up. And I hope to see everyone on election on Tuesday, November 3rd. Thank you very much, and good night, everybody.